Hello. Hi, everyone. I'm hoping that you're joining us. We thought about going into the garden, but it's raining. And so welcome to the shed. Some people call it a garage. A car has never been in this messy shed in its life. We're open to the elements. Delighted to have Neil's elders with me, as always. Um, just about. <laughs> just about. And lovely to have you with us too on this Monday afternoon. And it's a full moon tonight. Not only is it a full moon, it's, it's a super moon. Did you know it was a super moon no, tonight? It, this, this affects all star signs. I'm reliably informed by my friends who are astrologers and things. I'm going to get the binoculars out. <laughs> Hello, Marjorie Orr, wonderful Glasgow lady who is an astrologer. Um, let me see who's joining us. Hello, welcome. It's lovely to see you. Wiebeke is with us from Copenhagen. Fantastic. And happy birthday yesterday to Cal. Linda Milne, hello. And Marlene Monroe. And Santa, hello from Charente to Santa and Andrew and Kirstine. How lovely. Bev is with us. Neil Strachan, hello to you. Jean Thompson, good evening. Kathleen Burnett, I think my eyesight's getting better. I think I can see from here. Betty Hunter, <laughs> Betty is watching with us. Hi, Betty. Tricia, good evening to you, Tricia. Jean Caron, as always, lovely to have you with us. And Alison Watson and Isabel Foley. Hello from Elgin. Hello to you in Elgin. Betty Hunter and Linda. Lovely to see you, Linda Milne. And Nanny Linda, I want to say hello to her. And Raymond and John Conroy. And he's from the Granite City Chorus. I love the Granite. We love the Granite City Chorus. Fantastic. Look them up if you don't know them. Granite City Chorus. Catherine Bell. Linda Nolan is watching in Portugal with George and hopefully David and Prue. Mwah, mwah, to all of you. Liana Phillips. John Bett. It's a Scorpio moon, he tells us. It is a Scorpio moon. I'm a Scorpio. Are you a Scorpio? What does that mean then? Whoa, I think it means quite a lot. <laughs> Marjorie, are you watching in France? Let us know what does the Scorpio moon... I think it's a pink moon tonight. It apparently looked like it was full last night, but tonight... That's what Luca thought yesterday. It, it, it is actually full. tonight. I, I did look it up, actually. It says that tonight's full moon is a super moon at 11.31pm. Hello, Brian Green, and hello, um, Elizabeth, Mackenzie, and Neil. Um, but the moon appeared full last night, and April's full moon will be one of this year's supermoons, and it's sometimes known as the pink moon, though it has many other nicknames in other cultures. A supermoon happens when the full moon coincides with the moon's closest approach to Earth in its orbit. So they always look like... They're so huge. It's a bit grey here tonight. I'm hoping that we see it because I love it when it looks like the moon sort of right in your garden. Um, apparently there will be four supermoons in 2021 in March, April, May and June, which is unusual. So um, look out for the wolves howling tonight. Oh! <laughs> Oh. oh, we should have put that song in. <laughs> we should have put Werewolf of London in. Oh, we should have put the Werewolf. <laughs> but instead of Werewolf of London, hello Patricia and hello Fiona Nicholson from Inverness. Um, well, we're actually going to sing a song from Culloden. Actually, we're going to kick off. The other day, Niels and I recorded a, a special rendition of a song that we learned specially to commemorate Culloden. And... Um, as you all know, because of uh, probably the golfer and the history lesson that he generally gives us, the Battle of Culloden was on the 16th of April, 1746. It was a disaster. Um, and to this day, there's lots and lots of people um, are trying to preserve the battlefield quite rightly. And uh, Steve and Mary McLennan are at the forefront, or one of the forefront of this, and they raise lots of money for local charities. So Nils and I recorded, not recorded, well, we did it on our mm, phone. Yeah. yeah. So this is The Ghost of Culloden. 
Can you hear them? Can you see them? Marching proudly across the moor. Hear the wind blow through the drifting snow. Tell me, can you see them, the ghosts of Culloden? Many bravely fought, and sadly they were slain. But they died with such pride and dignity. Their lives were not in vain. We still remember them. They fought to save their land and died for liberty. Can you hear them? Can you see them marching proudly across the moon? Hear the wind blow through the drifting snow. Tell me, can you hear them, the ghosts of Culloden? Through the mist you'll hear The lonely piper play Listen carefully You'll hear a mournful cry Swords and bayonets crash As man to man they clash They came to fight to live and now they die can you hear them can you see them marching proudly across the moon hear the wind blow through the drifting snow Tell me, can you see them, the ghosts of Culloden? Can you hear them? Can you see them marching proudly across the moon? Hear the wind blow through the drift snow tell me can you see them the ghosts of Culloden tell me can you see them the ghosts of Culloden the wild applause that you hear is the rain outside <laughs> Pitter pattering everywhere. No thank no thank goodness we did not go into the field or out there. Um, it's pretty dreich, and I hope we are going to see this super moon tonight because it's it, it's very dreich. It's very dark. It's suddenly. It's almost like I don't know. They felt something felt the ghosts of Culloden. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a special request. Um, for Stephen Mary McLennan and all their followers and they have many um, so I hope that you enjoyed it because they sent me a lovely copy of it with a, a lovely singer called Isla Grant recorded it I'm not sure who wrote it but um, someone said an, it was an Irish folk tune not very sure but I'm sure we'll find out um, someone is saying I think it might be a thunderstorm I think you might be right um, Christine McPhail, good evening, welcome, and Joan McKenzie, Joan McKenzie, her son stays in Culloden. So hello Joan and hello to your son, and Louis Pickup, enjoy yourselves Fiona, it's sounding really good from Rainy Dinnett. Great, that's wonderful. And Ian Lees is watching, and Jean Thompson. I also wanted to say hello, um, 
Two, Annie McIntosh, Annie uh, Marjorie Cool in Dundee, first time today. Welcome, welcome to the the, the clan, Marjorie. Um, we'll, one, we'll, we will sing the Road in the Miles to Dundee because it's a lovely song. Another time, Maureen is watching on Marlene Monroe, and my cousin stays in Culloden, says Linda Milne. It's a very evocative song. Alan and June Douglas are watching. And Blair Mackay from Drumna Drochit. Oh my goodness. So lots of people from the Inverness area and Hatton and Denmark and Kentucky. Matt Walton, I'm not sure where you're from, but, but warm welcome. Um, and Gordon Law. Um, so loads of people, loads. Um, Annie, Annie McIntosh, Anne, she requested Highland Cathedral. I'm definitely going to do that one night. Um, Florian. Reed is watching from the Black Isle. Welcome, Florian. Um, we're going to do Highland Cathedral when Frank comes to play accordion. That's one of his tunes. So we'll definitely do that, Anne. And so we sang Ghosts of Culloden because we thought maybe for all our lovely friends up in the Inverness area, Mary Mackay and Anne Mackenzie is watching. So that's really lovely. And Denny Barnes in sunny London. Denny, I wish it was sunny here, but... We can but dream. We had a few good days, though. What? We had a few good. Sunny We've had days. great weather. We've had fantastic weather, Denny, yeah. and Colin Manders. You will know that we've had fantastic weather. the The golfer will be out shortly if if he puts his cap on to bear, brave the elements. Glad we didn't go outside. <laughs> and Marie Neige, Marie Neige, welcome. Bonsoir, bonsoir. How are you? How lovely to have our French friends watching. And Joan, Joni McKenzie, wonderful. I also want to say hello to our friends in Greece. Um, Bob Simpson. Bob is recovering from a back operation. He, only yesterday, Bob and Sophia and Julia are watching. So, mwah, to, to Bob Simpson. Hannah Harima is watching. Mwah. Hannah Harima and Donald McDevitt is watching and Gordon Allen and Kathy. I think, are you in rainy Utah? Goodness, great wow. to have you with us. The beautiful picture of you on Facebook, um, looking gorgeous. And Irene is watching and Christine McPhail. Um, I wanted to say happy birthday to Kel Björk in Stonehaven, in Stonehaven, in Copenhagen. Almost the same. <laughs> A bit different. <laughs> and um, a bit of an odd one here. I was going to say, I don't know this gentleman at all, but I wanted to say congratulations to Sir Anthony Hopkins for winning the Best Actor uh, best say, yeah. actor in the Oscars. Yeah. If you haven't seen The Father, it is the most beautiful film. I, I thought it was fantastic. It is, it, in many ways, it's a very sad story, but... I, I, for anyone who has anyone in their family suffering from dementia or Alzheimer's early stages, um, it's so frustrating for the individual themselves and it's hard for the family. Yeah. It's beautifully played by Sir Anthony Hopkins. So I was just, it was, it was co-written directed by a lovely Frenchman called Florian Zeller and it, it was a play first in 2012. And it's probably taken all this time to become a movie, but it's so worth seeing. It's called The Father, and um, Olivia Coleman plays his daughter. So um, I just wanted to say, well I don't done. know you, Sir Anthony, but I'm a big fan. Hello, Roy Duncan, who's watching, and Irene McCall. What will we sing? Uh, some Joni Mitchell. Maybe. Some Joni Mitchell. Um, I also want to say hello uh, to Kirsty Ellington. Because actually, um, the circle game, Joni Mitchell, many of you may not know this, we didn't know this, Joni Mitchell's maiden name was Anderson. And she was born in Fort MacLeod in Canada. And she's got to have Scottish link, not least being born in Fort, Fort MacLeod, but also the maiden name being Anderson. I wonder if Paul, I wonder if she's related Relative. to Paul. Probably. So this is one of Joni's songs that I I just love and um, it's really about the theme of life and I guess we're all going through that. Mm -hmm. 
Yesterday a child came out to wander Caught a dragonfly inside a jar Fearful when the sky was full of thunder And tearful at the falling of a star And the seasons they go round and round And the painted ponies go up and down we're captive on the carousel of time We can't return, we can only look Behind from where we came And go round and round and round In the circle game Then the child moved ten times round the seasons Skated over ten clear frozen streams Words like, when you're older, must appease him And promises of someday make his dreams and the seasons they go round and round and the painted ponies go up and down we're captive on the carousel of time we can't return we can only look behind from where we came and go round and round and round in the circle game. Sixteen springs and sixteen summers gone now. Cartwheels turn to car wheels through the town. And they tell him, take your time. It won't be long now Till you drag your feet To slow the circles down And the seasons They go round and round And the painted ponies Go up and down We're captive in the carousel of time we can't return, we can only look behind from where they came And go round and round and round in the circle game So the years been by, now the boy is twenty Though his dreams have lost some grandeur coming true There'll be new dreams, maybe better dreams, a plenty before the last revolving year is through. And the seasons, they go round and round, and the painted ponies go up and down. We're captive on the carousel of time We can't return, we can only look Behind from where we came And go round and round and round In the circle game And go round and round and round In the circle Oh, how good is that? Oh, it is such a beautiful song, don't you think? Uh, it took and, and a downpour of the and season, then it, and it downpoured. I mean, it is.
Apparently, Joni Mitchell uh, got inspiration from Neil Simon for this. Neil Young. S Neil, Neil, Neil Simon. Young. Neil Young. Thank you. If Neil they had Young. a child, though, it would be an amazing <laughs> songwriter. <laughs> You're so right. Neil Young, um, who I love as well. I mean, I don't know. I think, are we stuck in a bit of a time warp? We love yeah, Joni we Mitchell. Cow King we're going to do next time, but we've got so many lovely songs. You're gonna, are you going to do a Jackson Brown? I was. You I'm, were? I'm terrible with the words, so we're going to give it a go. Are you going to give it a go? Do you want to you come want to do that now? here? Well, how do you feel about that? Anxious. Anxious. He has no need to feel anxious. Do you want to stay there? I'll stay here. You'll stay here. Let me say hello to a few people uh, and keep you not being anxious. <laughs> um, the worst. There's the Elizabeth. Worst. Lisa Moore McGilvery is watching. Welcome, Elizabeth. What a wonder. Elizabeth Lisa Moore McGilvery. That is a wonderful name. Colin, I'll, I'll get the golfer out to do a clue shortly. I'm I'm hoping. Um, I also wanted to say something about my nephew, Zachary Clark, mm -hmm. that we are so proud of him because Zachary and his friend, James Ringer, they did a charity cycle, the length of Great Britain. Um, that must be more than a thousand miles. And they did it over, I think, five days. And they did a lot of training and they did it to raise money for two mental health charities that he is supporting in memory of his brother Murphy who sadly passed away and um, just hats off to Zach and uh, just a, an incredible achievement yeah. and we saw him we were lucky enough he was up over the weekend we were lucky enough to be in the garden and see him and he's looking super fit and Imogen his wife and just wanted to say Zaki, we're very proud of you and well done. He's raised over £20,000 for these two mental charities. Wow. So hats, yeah. hats off, yeah. hats off. Well done, Zach. So how about okay, we'll Jackson try. Brown? Let's see if I can read stuff. And do you want me to... I don't, you, we, didn't, we didn't have a chance. Yeah, I'm just going to... Oh. We should just go for it. Yeah, yes. And in June. It's sounding good already. Doctor, my eyes have seen the years and the slow parade of fears without crying. Now I want to understand. I have done all that I could. See the evil. Help me if you can All together Doctor, my eyes Tell me what is wrong Was I unwise To keep them open for so long Later than it seems Doctor, my eyes Tell me what you see I hear their cries Just say if it's too late for me
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> really good. I could I could feel you dancing at home in your kitchen sitting room. It's cold. It is <laughs> cold actually. It is it's cold and damp here. <laughs> Peter Stewart is watching. Christy McPhail is watching. I I'm sorry if I haven't said everyone's names oh, because Chloe man. All right. Of the river Hades. Who right the, the 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 golfer is coming out. Hang on. Get in here. I've just been having a most interesting session of tai chi. Wonderful. I'm now. Are you? Oh, relaxed? I'm loose. I'm lithe. I'm agile. <laughs> I feel like a. I feel like a forty-year-old again. <laughs> I'm not that. I don't look any different. But anyway, the ferryman of the River Hades. The ferryman of the River Hades. Yes. No, no. It's the River Styx, which takes you into the Hades. What was the ferryman called? Okay. What was the ferryman called? Who took the the deceased? Over the river sticks to Hades. Okay. 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 Name that ferryman. Name that ferryman. I'll name no, that. It's not Brian. <laughs> I'll name that. Fer <laughs> I will name that ferryman. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> oh. Oh. I I just want to say. <laughs> like <Tarzan and> <laughs> you need to, you need to know what's going on in the background in the kitchen, which is. In the house, we are outside. Tina, Nils's wife, um, is teaching Francis tai, uh, Qigong or Tai Chi, Qigong, yeah. Qigong and Tai Chi, because the golfer was finding the old, you know, twisting and turning not as easy as it might be. So yeah. Tina is giving him a, a workout, <laughs> which is. Oh, he seems very sprightly. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, he's obviously very impressed. So, um, here comes the sun. I think we're going to do an old George... It's George Harrison, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, George Harrison. I mean, th there are so many good songs, so many Beatles songs that we would love to sing. We would love to have your requests. I don't know if George and May and the Drennan family are watching tonight, but if they are, maybe George and May, you could pop up a link. It would be lovely if you would like to share this live stream... I'm not so embarrassed about this one. There have been a few embarrassing ones where I filmed myself upside down, as you know, and to the side. Apologies to Irene Watt last week for my poor telephone camera work. It was lovely to have Irene. Hoping to have Frank back very soon and Neil Burse. But do share with your friends. We are going to keep going with our Monday nights. So, good old George Harrison. Little darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter. Little darling, it seems like years since it's been here. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. I say it's all right. Smiles returning to their faces. Little darling, it seems like years since it's been here. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. I say it's all right. Ice is slowly melting Little darling It feels like years Since it's been here Here comes the sun Here comes the sun I say it's alright
comes the sun Here comes the sun I say it's all right It's all right <laughs> I mean frankly it's not good that the golfer is not out in the rain <laughs> applauding. He's let Roxy Rose, one of the dogs, come out with the frisbee and I'm not throwing it and I'm not running after the ball. Um, I'd love to say hello to a few more people. Christine Farmer, we're both doing very well, thank you. I hope you're doing well. Richard Given, I hope you're well too. Trisha Donovan, lots of love hearts to you too. Sheila McLeod, Molly Lowney, Mary and Robert Wilson, lots of applause. Neil Strachan, best ever cover I've heard, better than the original. Neil, you're my number one fan, there's no question. John Conroy from Granite City Singers, you've got to look them up. Femi Cameron is watching. We need to do something to finish off. I don't know if we got an answer to the clue. Ailey McLeod, hello from Invergordon. Did anyone get the clue? Does anyone remember the clue? It's something to do. The Ferryman. What was the name of the Ferryman? Dorothy Churnside in Edinburgh. Do you know the name of the Ferryman that went from the River Styx? And Mo Redford, Alan and June Douglas. Yes, they're great. Does anyone know the answer to the clue? Colin Manders, I need you. Anne McKenzie, do you know the clue? Do you know the answer to the clue? Um, what was the name of the Ferryman? What will we do to close off? Uh, we'll we John, John Mar Martin, maybe. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, yes. How about that? Haven't had that one. <coughs> I, I just think made that up. I think that would be a very good one. John Martin. Let's see if anyone's got the... Just throwing a wild... Um, well, you are throwing a wild card because <laughs> I don't know the words, so I'll be making them up. But right. that's okay. Can you read that? Oh, thank you. <laughs> You do, not lovely. Prepared at all. Not prepared. You are. You're. <laughs> you're a star. <clears throat> okay. I once interviewed him. Did I tell you that? No. John Martin, the late great John Martin, came to the Lemon Tree when Phil Cunning and I were presenting live at the Lemon Tree, and legend that he is. And he sang. May you never. Kenny Much was the producer. Then BBC Scotland. It was a great program live at the Lemon Tree. So we did that for several years, every Friday at sort of two o'clock. Yeah. All these live artists, it'd be great if they brought it back. Write to the BBC and say, Fiona and Phil, get back in and do live at the Lemon back. Tree and we'll get all these live artists in who need to come in and sing and play and do. Yeah. So let's do the John Martin. So we start on. May, May you never lay your head down Without a hand to hold May you never make your bed out in the cold Well, you're just like a sweet crazy brother to me And you know that I love you true You never talk dirty behind my back And I know that there's those that do Oh, won't you please, won't you please, won't you bear it in mind Love is a lesson to learn in our time Please, won't you please, won't you bear it in mind for me May you never lay your head down Without a hand to hold May you never make your bed out in the cold well, you're just like a sweet little sister to me And you know that I love you true You hold no blade to stab me in my back And I know that there's some who do oh, Won't you please, won't you please, won't you bear it in mind Love is a lesson to learn in our time Please, won't you please, won't you bear Without a hand to hold May you never make your bed out in the cold Are you mean like a sweet crazy brother to me? I try to love you as I 
should And you hold an old blade to stab me in my heart And I know that there's some that would Oh, won't you please, won't you please, won't you bear it in mind Love is a lesson to learn in our time Please, won't you please, won't you bear it in mind for me May you never lose your temper If you get hit in a barroom fight May you never lose your lover all the night May you never lay your head down Without a hand to hold May you never lose your bed out in the cold May you never make your bed Well done, Neil. That was great. That is such a great song. So good. It is such a great song to sing as well. It is just one of those songs that you kind of go, oh, I'm so happy to sing that. Oh, no. And mean, also the sentiment of it. I mean, I don't know if John Martin wrote it thinking about homeless people or whether he just thought, you know, it's all about kindness. But whatever he was thinking at the time, it's just a damn good great, song. Great, great song. Now, let's see if we've got any answers for the clue. Thank you, Neil. Thank you, Betty. Thank you all for watching. Um, I better run and get the... Or will I run and get, get the, answer. The, the answer? Because it's very... Hang on. John Conroy saying bravo, big bravo. Neil, play a little something while I go and get the answer. What will you play? What will you... I can play a song. Play a song. Come in here and I'll go and get the answer. What am I going to play? If anybody's seen that film Peanut Butter Falcon, this is a song that I wrote after watching that. Maybe I don't get to play it. <laughs> Should I play this song or no? I, I, sounds good to me. Yeah. The answer is Cheron. 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 Cher Cheron. This is a song based on the film Peanut Butter Falcon. Okay, did you write it? Yeah. Oh, good. And what is it called? Um, short on <laughs> Love. Short on Love. We don't want to be short on love. Must have just missed us. It's nobody's fault. Suppose God had business with more important folk. Mom and Dad weren't exactly what the state had hoped. There ain't no law against having children when you can't cope. Do you think we were short on love? There are worse things than bullies, but not many I can think of. Kick you when you're down, you'll spend your whole life forgetting up. Do you think we were short on love? Do you think we were short on love? Best get moving, they'll be looking for us now. You can tag along as long as you don't slow me down Heard about a place that's a few days walking south And on the way we'll find that redneck you've been going on about Do you think we were short on love? There are worse things than bullies, but not many I can think of Kick me when I'm down, I spend my whole life getting up Do you think we were short on love? Do you think we were short on love? 
I got a log by the fire It's big enough for two You're invited to my birthday It starts this afternoon And I guess if you want it You could bring Eleanor too And for the first time in my life I'll thank the stars A wish of mine came true Short on love There are worse things than bullies But not many I can think of Kick you when you're down You'll spend your whole life getting up Do you think we were short on love? Do you think we were short on love? for Neil's a new song yeah, that you've just recently yeah, just written during the pandemic during the pandemic at some point wow he is such a good songwriter I, I he needs to record he needs to get these songs done they're so good they're thank so good you. thank you for joining us this week um, it's been lovely to have all of you I hope you got the answer to the clue which was Sharon Sharon and Hillary in America, sing beautiful song, Niels, and Margaret McCubbin and John Conroy. Brilliant, Niels. Beautiful. Thank you. I mean, the sentiment. Do you think we're short on love? It's like a film about it is. people that haven't maybe had an awful lot of kindness shown to them. Yeah. So. Well, you've captured something beautiful there, Thank and you. I can see everyone really enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining us. Come and join us next week hopefully the sun will be shining look out for that super moon tonight and uh, see you next time <laughs>